Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. After uh, a couple hours of sleep and driving 20 hours and getting home at five in the morning, it's gonna be a little bit of a rocky ride today, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am exhausted. But we have Drogo over here. We've just taken him out of the sloth room because we're just kind of be working on that today a little bit. We're gonna give him his first opportunity to kind of cruise around, but first we wanna hang some ropes, some vines and some stuff like that. We're also gonna feed him in a little bit, get that kind of dialed in. And uh, after he gets there, hopefully we can let him loose a little Bit. He will be staying in a crate like this at night and uh, for part of the day for the next few weeks. That's just kind of how Leslie said, the owner said, if we take him out of this into that big room, he may stress out. So he's used to being in something like this a lot. So he's got his bed, he's got his blanket, he's got his hammock and stuff like that. So he's comfortable here. So we're gonna uh, work on the sloth room, give him some food, and then go ahead and release him a little bit and see what he does. So we have lighting, we have some humidifying in here, we've got all our vines, we've got all our branches and all that other stuff set up in here. So I think we're gonna go ahead and let Drogo give his first kind of trial run in here. Uh, we'll keep him, again, but we're gonna be watching him the entire time, making sure that nothing goes wrong. Just kind of keeping an eye on what he's trying to do and we have to uh, probably change things around per him, right? We're gonna have to read what he's gonna do. So uh, he's a sleepy sloth, as you know, sloths sleep a lot, he sleeps in the daytime. But uh, we're gonna try to wake him up and see if we can get him in here and let him just kind of crawl around a little bit. Go, go. Come here, baby boy. Come here. Wake up, baby. Wake up. Go, go. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, I know. I know. Come here. Come here, silly. Come on. Come on. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here, Drogo. That's a baby boy. Good job, little Drogo. Hmm. You want to go for a little ride? Go see your new place? Maybe go walk around a little bit? There you go, Drogo. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Up you go. There it is, Drogo. <laughs> Drogo's first little climb on his tree. What do you think, Drogo? What are you doing, silly? There's a lot of room for you to play, buddy. He's immediately just kind of feeling out. You can see him thinking, you know, immediately went right up to the grate. So he's trying to figure out how he can get to the grate. Again, the one thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get those wires attached to the top of the, the ceiling so he can't pull on the wires, obviously. But I knew he was gonna love to climb on the wiring. And then he's got all the trees, the branches. So let's just sit back and just watch him for a while because this is what it's all about. You guys know I love letting animals go into new enclosures and this is gonna be absolutely amazing for him. So let's just sit back and enjoy this moment. So as if 
getting a sloth and putting them in his enclosure isn't good enough for today. Guess what else? You know, we're down in Gatorland. We picked out some alligators to replace the big alligators that we shipped down there. And uh, I get to play with them and show you guys to get them set up today. So these guys are so cute. I almost can't remember when ours were this absolutely cute. So we got two different sizes. We got a little bit well started ones like these little monkeys right here. Look at all these. Oh my God. Come on, little chunky monkeys. And so of course, these will go into the big enclosure that the monsters are in. I can't believe they're gonna have so much space and they're gonna be so absolutely happy. It's gonna be so cool. And we got six of these guys right here. Come on, little monkeys, come on. Okay, take a look at how amazing they are. They are so cool. So these guys are probably like six, maybe eight months old, something on that line. And like I had mentioned, we're gonna have to train these guys, right? So what happens is we'll start to clicker train them and feed them. The one thing that's great about alligators, they love to eat. So if you click, feed, click, feed, all in all, really quickly, usually within a couple days, they get the handle. Like once they hear that click, they're gonna feed. Now these guys aren't gonna jump out like the other ones did and kind of lunge up. It's kind of a bummer that that won't happen, but they will feed pretty well. We should get them trained. Within about a week, I think we'll be in good shape to go with that. And although it's cool that we have this size ones that are gonna probably be around for the next year or so, we did get some babies as well. And guys, look at how cute these are, <laughs> unbelievable. Of course, these are little tiny babies, probably just a matter of a month or so old. These will go into the enclosure where the smaller ones went in, and we'll be able to train these ones on clicker as well. But of course, these will eat small amounts of meals. We won't be able to feed them a whole lot, you know, because obviously they're little tiny babies. But is that so cool? So we got six little tiny baby alligators that are just little cute little monkeys right there, and then we'll have six little bigger ones. So what do you say? We go ahead, go over that tank, get these guys set up, and just kind of take a look at them in their new environment. We get to play with these guys again for the next year, year and a half. It's going to be absolutely amazing to see how they develop and grow and become just amazing little animal ambassadors. And here we go. This is the enclosure that they're gonna go in. And again, this is definitely much better size-wise. Look at, oh my God, they're gonna look so cute and adorable in here. And again, the idea is, is that smaller kids can you know reach this tank, plus they're not intimidating because they're little tiny babies, and they can feed these guys. Probably little crocodile chow, actually. The little pellets are probably what will feed these guys, and we'll get them clicker trained and get them up. But these are unbelievably adorable. I mean, I forgot that salt was this big, pepper was this big, our babies that we just sent back to Gatorland were this big at one time. I mean, it's crazy to think that they grow so quick. I mean, this is awesome. I am so excited. I mean, I cannot believe how cool this is gonna be. So now we can put the other ones in the bigger tank. And again, they're gonna get a lot more food. So hopefully they'll get trained up quick though. But wow, this is awesome. You know, the other thing that's nice about these, to be honest with you, is that we'll be able to take these out if kids or anyone wants to hold them. Whereas the bigger ones, it was just impossible. I'm gonna just let them go right in the water and let them swim around. Come on, little guys. They're like, oh, <laughs> they're gonna have some fun for sure. So we've got, again, we're gonna have six little babies in here. And you can see they're already cruising around, checking the place out, learning what's going on. And again, at any time, they'll learn to climb up on here, bask up here and stuff like that. And then again, we'll start clicker training them really as early as tomorrow, to be honest with you. But again, now we can actually take these guys out and it's not really dangerous because if you even get bit by something this size, it's like a pinch, you know? Whereas the other ones, we really couldn't bring out because at that size, I got bit by them occasionally, you know, just working with them. And it was a pretty painful bite, so we couldn't take them out for people. So it's cool that we can finally have some babies back in here that we can play around with. So that is absolutely amazing. And like I said, it won't take more than probably a week or so. They'll be clicker trained. And, and then uh, everyone can start seeing these things grow again in a year, year and a half from now. I'll have to send them on back like I did those ones and I'll miss them just like I miss those. So uh, regardless, awesome to finally have the gator situation and sloth situation worked out. So guys, obviously there's been a lot of stuff that has been going on today and I mean over the last few weeks to be totally honest with you. 
Uh, and it's exciting, obviously. We've got Drogo right over here. We've got the new alligators in. It's been amazing. But I did want to talk to you about something a little bit more heavy. And, and, uh, and I, I hope that you guys will allow me to do this and help me in the comments on what to do. You know, uh, Obviously, you guys know I've dealt with a lot of anxiety over the last seven months. Uh, gotten much better over the last month and a half. And to be totally honest with you, up until the last week or so, most days were almost perfect. You know, almost perfect. I'd have a little bit here and there, but nothing too major. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. The trip down to get Drogo was really bad for me. I mean, my anxiety was through the roof. I felt as bad as I felt in probably two months. Um, spending time at Gatorland helped. It was, it was like kind of cool, but I was still pretty anxious, but I still had a good time and it was good. Uh, then yesterday, getting Drogo and coming back, I felt so much better. I mean, I really did. I had a really good day. Today, uh, I'm a little amped up, you know, I'm just nervous. I want Drogo to do well. I've done, we've done all the research we possibly can, but it's always stressful. And now I have a really major decision to make. And that's three days from now is when I'm supposed to be leaving for that cross country trip. Well, actually four days, but leave three and a half days. And I thought I was ready. I was really ready. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go for 12, 13 days. It's gonna be amazing stopping at all these animal places, seeing amazing things, taking you guys on a big adventure. And now I'm a little bit freaked out because the trip to Florida was so crazy. Every mile we went, I felt worse and worse and worse. And um, I don't wanna stop doing things. And I don't want to get to a spot where I start to retract. I wanna push my comfort zone. But at the same time, I don't want to go on this big trip and be miserable the entire time. I don't know what to do. You know, do I push it? And maybe it turns into what yesterday was for me, where I'm happy, you know, and it's awesome, and I was in such a good mood. But what if it goes the other way? And I don't want to what if think. I know that's the that's the anxiety in me speaking right now. And I don't know. Do you guys think I should postpone this trip? Do you think I should just push through and do it, bring you guys along, and and? hope for the best and wish for the best and, and, and maybe as soon as I get on the road it's not as stressful because I'm not going to get Drogo I'm just going on the road and it's about kind of an adventure and I don't know what to do you know I know one thing is that I don't want that feeling that I had driving to Florida where it was just un I mean it was terrible it was it's a hard unless you guys have suffered like this you won't understand what it feels like it is the worst feeling you could ever imagine and um, so I'm, I'm really in a quandary right now. I wanna go on this trip so bad. I wanna push my envelope. I wanna get outside my comfort zone. I think there's a very good chance that when I go and get the energy away and just be like, okay, this is cool. We're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna have Jay, Anthony, Noah with me. I think it's gonna be incredible. But there's that little piece of me that's nervous because of what just happened. And like I said, even today, I don't feel great. I feel pretty keyed up and not as good as what I'd like. Again, I have a few days, but I wanted to come to you guys and ask your advice. What should I do? Please tell me in the comments what you think. Should I postpone? Should I keep going? Um, are you guys excited about it? You know, I don't want to let you guys down. So let me know. Uh, I really need advice on this one, guys. I need advice and positive energy. So uh, that's it. So. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to read what you guys have to say. Thank you. And I don't want to forget about my anacondas, of course. <laughs> Got Aries over here and Ivy over there. It's always nice to be back and see not just them, but all my animals. I hope that you guys enjoyed the journey. Let me know in the comments what I asked about, as well as what you think about Drogo. I can't wait to get him uh, into a position where he's uh, completely settled in and we can start to have people meet him. Uh, it's going to be a while. We're going to always be on the cautious side when it comes to Drogo. We want him to be good, healthy, happy before we do anything else. If you enjoyed this video, right here is actually a playlist of my most popular videos. Please check that out. Up here, you can subscribe to the podcast. I'm going to be talking about Drogo and all kinds of other things. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.